Southern Arizona has some amazing teachers. Kega 9 and Arizona Athletics are proud to present this year's Circle K Teacher of the Year nominee. Tonight, we want to introduce you to a teacher from Cienega High School. He gives his speech. It's the last night. The balloons are coming down. The election's going to start. It's another day of AP government for students at Cienega High School in Vail, but teacher Brett Darling always guarantees an interesting class. I have a little bit of ADD, so the same thing over and over again may be a little hard for me. I like the fact that with politics, every day is something new. Darling has been teaching for 15 years, the past three here at Cienega High. With politics on top of people's minds, Darling does his best to make things relevant. And you got to kind of look at different angles of politics and different angles of government that you haven't had to look at before. Uh, Twitter. All of a sudden, Twitter becomes a huge deal now in politics. You know, what's wrong, what's right. Last year, he took some of his students to the inauguration to teach them a big lesson. We're not going there to, 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 to see a person. You're going to see something that made America special, which is the peaceful transfer of power. And I think that that was really cool as the kids sat there and said, look, there's no riots, there's no, no one's, no, no military's marching up to take over. It's the peaceful transfer of power. Darling is one of nine finalists nominated for the Circle K Outstanding High School Faculty Award, sponsored by Kega 9 and Arizona Athletics. When he's not teaching, you can find him on the football field as a defensive coordinator. You kind of have a really cool job. You're teaching government because you love government. Yeah. And you're also a football coach. Yeah, don't tell my bosses I do this stuff for free. <laughs> I, I love what I do. I had a a college professor who told me one time that if you ever find a job you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And every year I tell my students, I haven't worked since I graduated college. There you go. That's amazing. And the winner will be announced in the beginning of March.